Hi everybody! So I have to tell you we had a little bit of an uh-oh and we lost all the footage of Mike installing these little magnetic latches in our kitchen cabinet. So let me just show you really quick what he did here in the cupboards. He put the little, the magnet part of the latch down here and then he shut the cupboard and he would like bump it with the palm of his hand and those two little magnets right there would make two little lines in the paint so he knew exactly where to install the little metal plate. So um, that's how plain and simple that installation turned out to be. And fortunately, we did not lose the footage of the latches we installed in the drawers. I found two packages. I think we had four, four, and they come with four each. So I found these. I Oops. thought I looked in there. I didn't see it. Yeah, here's the package right here. Oh, that's excellent. Okay, we're in really good shape. I thought we're going to have to order more, honestly. Oh, good. We're going to have enough? Yeah, so grab, grab those. Uh -huh. Let's go this right here. Yeah, today we're getting back to um, installing the latches on all the cupboards and drawers, but um, we're doing a different kind of latch on the drawers than the magnetic ones we used on the cupboards. For a good reason, because um, when there's a lot of weight in a drawer, it will really pop open anytime you go around a corner or something. So we needed a, the latches on the drawers to be a little bit stronger than the magnetic latches on the cupboard doors. And we found some awesome ones. You guys are going to like this. drawers we have we got one two three four five six seven eight who do we nine, appreciate ten ten or eleven i'll count and i'll tell you what i think one two three are you counting the bedroom too mm -hmm. nine, ten i counted twelve okay and the laundry drawer too you counted that oh thirteen okay well hopefully we have enough then So you made the board the same thickness as the latch? Yeah, exactly. Perfect. Okay, so now I need the other side of it. So I've got to make a whole bunch of the same over and over and over again for this. Just a bunch of little pieces? Yeah, just all the same. So the idea is to, we need to drill these to accept the screws that we're going to be using. And we're going to use this bit right here. So if you look at this bit right here, it's a self-centering bit. This little collar here will ride down into this depression and center the bit and put the hole right in the center of that. So it makes it really handy for uh, assembling these things. Okay, so lock that up like this. We'll get this exactly where we want it to be on here, holding it nicely. And now it drills that perfect hole there. Like that. Okay, then we can drill the second hole.
and that's one. People are probably freaking out. What is he making and why is he making it like this? That's not how this goes. It is how this goes. <laughs> Up here. Got the control. Awesome. You love that drill. I really do. It's I good. Mean, driver. Yes. Let's see. Do I have that? There it is. All right. So let me introduce you guys uh, to these clips here because they're really cool. So we wanted something other than your standard uh, Lowe's cheapy little, those little clips. You've seen them on every drawer that has that thing like this and two little wheels and it chunk over the wheels. Yeah, the old fashioned Old fashioned kind. kind. They just bend, they wear down. We wanted something solid and that's why we came up, we found these online. We'll definitely put the link down in the uh, description because these are great. Okay. Um, there's two ball bearings in here and they're held with, you can see they have, uh, they're spring loaded. And so, uh, they're very, very strong. Right, move your fingers after you, there you go. You can see this thing here. There, that's so, the... But you wanna see something really cool? It works sideways too. That's right, so these become extremely useful in a variety of applications if you have. Our crazy way of doing this, we wanted something that would latch uh, consistently, in every drawer we built and because the different uh, architecture around each drawer we wanted we found a place on the drawer that we could do this consistently on every drawer and hence why we're using these little wood things we'll show you making something that allows us to mark where we need to put screw holes to put this in and I'll show you in a sec why this is important this is kind of cool what we just did right here yeah. Yeah. It took me a long time to come up with this. It's probably been done for years, but I couldn't, I didn't really look up any references. I just thought about it for a little while. But the idea is, well, once we have this mounted where we're going to mount them, how do we mount the other piece? Yeah. Like, because in the correct position yeah. to line up. How do you get this lined up with that when you have to close the door to see where it is, right? So I came up <clears throat> with this idea and latch it in like that and then close the drawer until it smacks into these it'll mark the drawer and then we can come back and just put these on the screw holes or these little dents that it creates like that so we're going to try it but first we have to put some more holes in these for our uh what's the word countersinking we have to countersink all these things oh now we're going to use a because this wood is so thin now, it has, it's going to want a, a tendency to break. So the idea here is to drill a nice uh, oversized hole. This is not the right countersink for regular screws because it, it uh, is a little too wide. So the uh, threads will strip in this. And we want that to happen in this piece and not in the where it's going to be screwed to because we don't want to put too much pressure on this wood right here causing it to split let's go see how well our pre-planning worked out what do you think um, I have feeling pretty confident about your abilities on this. I feel pretty good about this too. All right, let's do it. All right, so this is why we built these because it needs to go. Oh no. 
Oh my gosh, it doesn't fit and you just made all of those. No. Oh, does it? Oh, it does. Oh, okay. It has a little sliding action. <laughs> Maybe this side's a little looser. Oh yeah, this side. Oh, this, we'll do it on this side. It's just quite a bit looser over here. Okay. Okay. So we made it so that, because I could have put it here and I could have screwed this onto here easily on this particular one because it has this, but not all of them have something here to put it to. Yeah, this is the only so one. So it puts it over here. So we had to come up with ways to do it. I could probably could screw this on sideways actually. By the way, I have something to show you that's going to make some of you very happy. It's concerning our trash slide out. Do you see it? Do you see it? Some of you noticed right away. <laughs> we put the additional handle on the cupboard to make it look like a real cupboard because we had so many comments of people that were like, it does not look right without a handle. The so, word was congruent. There you have it. There's your handle and everything is now congruent. All right, here we go. <laughs> Screwing in. Like that. And we'll get this one all flush and nice like that. I hope it works. Me too. So now if we put this on. This is our marker thingy daily. Right. Can you like pop it with your hand or something? Didn't need to. Oh really? Yeah. Okay. You made the marks? One. Yeah, you can see oh, them. Oh, because it's so in look the right paint. Here. Okay, wait, let me come around on this. Show side. them the marks. You can see them. Oh, as soon as I put my glasses on, right I can see there. them. So now, oh yeah, you can totally see it in here, huh? Okay, let's make sure right this thing works here. Right there. I'll screw this on. Wow, what a great idea. That worked like a charm, That baby. really did work out it good. It really did. I gave a lot of thought. Okay. What the? Oh. <laughs> what? No, I'm just retarded. You put it in the wrong position? So, yeah, I did. <laughs> I put it in the wrong position. Um, I put error. it sticking out. It would have latched fine, but it would have latched fine right there. Oh, it just needed to be set I, back I need to move farther. it back, yeah. Oh, okay, gotcha. <laughs> so it was just a, it was just a dumb it thing. It was the trial part. run. It was the trial run. Yeah. We're just getting warmed up around here. First one. We won't make that it's mistake. It's a practice again. pancake. Trust it. was a practice. <laughs> <laughs> we're we're going to edit that out, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> Make it look all sunshine and of course roses I did it over here absolutely. in Fuzzy Land. Yeah, I did it perfect. Yeah. <laughs> on the first try. Just like everything else on the bus. <laughs> no, you, you've never made a mistake on mm -hmm. this build. What? Not once. No electrical blowouts. What? Never cut a wire, live wire with my thing before. No. Nope. Not on Buzzy McBus Space. Mm -hmm. Never happened. <laughs> Didn't happen. Sometimes our videos are more about it's what not to do true. on your bus build. Everybody has that, like, I should have done it like this moment. Okay, so now it's set back far enough. Yeah, that was the little problem I had. Everything's fine now. I basically made this here flush with this edge, assuming that this thing is going to go that far in. I won't know until I just kind of do this thing to it. Oh my gosh, do you have to mark it with two new dots now? I will, yes. Now how are you going to know which are the old and which are the new? Because the new dots will be real tiny and the old ones will have screw holes. Oh. <laughs> Duh. Pretty straightforward. <laughs> Me and you are both just like rocket scientists today, aren't we? Mm-hmm. Genius. And sure enough, they're in a different place. Uh -huh. <laughs> you were right about one thing. <laughs> yeah, for sure. I need my drill. Where's my fancy little drill? Hmm. Oh, it's right there. Turn right it over. there. Found it. Sorry. It was right fun. in front of your face. Mm -hmm. I found it. I knew where it was. Okay. So I'm going to use this to make pilot holes, basically. It just makes it easier. Oh. Take our jig. I always forget to get that one out of the way, huh? 
It is. Very nice. Yeah. What, did we already put one on the trash? Yeah, we put a magnet. Oh, a magnet on the trash. I couldn't remember. Yeah, that'll hold pretty well. Like. Pretty strong. Let me see. Oh yeah. It's gonna take a force to get it out, out of there to get it to start. There'll be some times it might pop open, but it'll yeah. feel far in between. If we have a really heavy drawer and a really sharp sudden curve or something yeah. like that, it could pop out. But I think these are pretty strong latches. All right, next one. Go. All right, moving right along. I wanted this to be sweet like this, like easy to do, repeatable, you know, and I wanted it to be quick. Like you could spend all day trying to figure this out. I know, right? Because of the way these things line up and all sorts of uh, little uh, variables. And so that's why pre-building and the jigs and all that stuff, like really made sense on this part of the build here. in there. No, this is oh. combat gauze. Oh. Just in case you're making dinner and you get a shot. <laughs> Handy. <laughs> Glad we have that in the kitchen, baby. Thanks. Yeah, never know what Thanks you're gonna, for your contribution. You never know what you're going to run into. It's a dangerous <laughs> world we live in. Mm, these trying times. These trying times. Somebody's going to try to steal your toilet paper. This, this corona apocalypse. Yep. They're going to steal our toilet paper. <laughs> It'll be their last move. There'll be bullets flying, toilet paper getting ruined. <laughs> You're like spraying water on the toilet paper. See, if I can't have it, nobody can. <laughs> These little clips just worked out so good. <laughs> so happy yeah, <laughs> how this I, is going. I like them. Okay, so that's the little, how the jig goes in. Just like this. You want to get it straight, because I could like turn it off to the side and it's going to be wrong. So I want it nice and straight here like that. And then put the drawer back in. Excuse me. There we go. Little vampire bite marks in the drawer. That's it. Little starter holes there. One more down. So you just make that little, the brass thing kind of flush with the front edge. Right yeah, there. exactly. Little tiny bit back because there's the the thickness of each one of these to contend with. <clears throat> this right, this oh, thickness right there. Yeah, I gotcha. So I just I set it back a tiny bit more. Got a bite. Got a bite. <laughs> Classic sign. Goodness gracious. Okay, we need a latch. Oh, you got one. You're good. Oh, come on good. it. Oh, get the vampire out of there. Ow. Sure. It bit you bit too, me. didn't it? Go. The vampire. <laughs> <laughs> it works so good. It's worked perfectly up to this point. Yeah, no perfectly. complaints. It seems like it makes most sense to be near the handle. Yeah. So it's not like tweaking the drawer out sideways when you try to open it or something. Yeah, a lot of truth to that. Only it's going to be a lot more difficult because. Oh, really? Yeah, so I'm going to mount it up over here. I was hoping I wouldn't have to take this apart, essentially, because taking this particular drawer out is hard. I know, it's so huge. Here. Jiminy Christmas. 
Christmas. <laughs> that is some serious amount of laundry storage. Yeah. Okay. Now let's put the drawer back in. Name sauce. Let me for you. Without damaging the rest of the house. I know. That thing's a behemoth. Yeah. And it's heavy too. All right. I'm going to need you to line up this side. Got it. Oh. Okay. All right. You have the vampire card. Hmm. trying to pull them all out. I know, huh? They're a little bulky and awkward. At least you can set them right over there on the bed. So easier said than done. Oh, yes. <laughs> okay. So now we get to betray the one giant mistake we've made in this build. Oh yeah, there are a few little imperfections, but but look at this one. This one you kind guys, of like is like, oh. Just open the bottom drawer. Yeah. Oh, hold on, let me zoom in on the problem there. So in order for this to uh, open, we have to open this so we can yeah, get in. Yeah, <laughs> that is our one big flaw on this whole build, isn't it? <laughs> totally didn't think that one through. It yep. just happened that way. So yeah, for the rest of all time and eternity, we have to open this little hatch in order to open our bottom unless I build on some, both sides. Unless I build something else here instead. Yeah, we've thought about different ways of enclosing that little area. I'm not motivated enough to do it yet. Not right now. <laughs> Just not right now. Not going backwards. But it's not, it's not, it's, it's little. Not horrible. It's yeah. something I could live with. If I have to open that little thing every time to open the bottom door, big deal. Okay, I need another piece. So if you wonder how these drawers come out or how to get them out, once they're in there, this little piece of plastic right here is the latch. And on one side of the drawer, you have to push it up and the other side of the drawer, you have to push it down and that releases the drawer to come out. And if worst case scenario, if we have problems with any of the drawers opening, I can put one of these on the other side and double latch. Oh, so, that's a good idea. Yeah, it's we not, need, need it to be stronger. Yeah, it's isn't nothing's finalized and there's plenty of room to do a second latch. So we could really add to our strength of this whole thing. Huh. Okay, so we'll just have to see how it goes when we start driving it. Yep. There's our little guy. Vampire? Come to bed. He's in his coffin. In his coffin. <laughs> That'll do. Got it that time. That's it. Perfect. That's it. That's all the drawers. That's all the drawers. We did nice them work. all. High five. Check. Oh, you shut that thing. Well, that looks quick. Yeah. Quick and painless. Okay, everybody take a break. Everybody take five. Take a break. Five. Take ten. <laughs> take an hour. So here's one last little decorative accent Mike is putting on the kitchen. 
You want to see? Isn't it unusual? Go. Mike found it at Home Depot and thought it would be interesting because this space in our kitchen looked so bare compared to everywhere else. I think it's kind of cool. I like our black accents in the oh, kitchen. It does. It looks really nice. I know, right? Yeah, good job there. It's a good one. Super cool. I like it, my honey. Me too. That was a good find. I like that we can use the bus for things like survival. Like getting a drink of water? Exactly like that. I think you also like that we can have the air conditioning on while we're working in the bus. Yeah, it's hot outside. I think that looks pretty good. We just have a couple little kitchen projects that we might as well do. Yeah. Measure Bunny to the rescue. So what we got here. Exactly. 12 inches. On the nose. On the nose. I literally like just put it up here and screwed it in. <laughs> <laughs> Way to wing it, baby. You wing it like a pro. Yep. All right, this is the scary part now. Don't get your fingers There's all these it. magnets in here. And you got to stick. This thing just is held up by its magnetic. <laughs> Jeez. I know, don't get your finger in the way. There it is. So now we can keep all of our tools there. You know? Nice. Some people will put knives up here, but not Carrie and I. <laughs> Just kidding. Hold it. No. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> it's making me laugh. <laughs> That's probably what's going to actually end up happening when we're living in the bus. I'll find all kinds of Mike's tools stuck up here on the magnet. 